Today we'll be conducting an experiment demonstrating Hess's Law. The materials we're going to need include 100 milliliters of distilled water, approximately 2 grams of solid sodium hydroxide, 50 milliliters of 1 molar hydrochloric acid, 100 milliliters of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid, and 50 milliliters of 1 molar sodium hydroxide. We're going to need a ring stand and a clamp. We're going to need a styrofoam cup and a temperature probe as well as a longer probe device and computer. Here we have 2 grams of solid sodium hydroxide. Go. So for the first reaction, we're going to add 100 milliliters of distilled water to the styrofoam cup. And suspend the temperature probe into the solution so that you can measure the initial temperature. And then we're going to add the 2 grams of solid sodium hydroxide. And then now we're going to um, just measure and we're going to stir the gas, continuously making the gas for, the for about 200 seconds. And we are going to do this by um, making the water we're going to see the graph. Look at the graph. Um, to equal to the water. As you can see, all of the solid sodium hydroxide has been dissolved, but we're going to keep stirring until the maximum temperature has been reached. The temperature doesn't look like it will be changing much, so we can stop the data collection here. So that's our first reaction. So for the second reaction, we're going to add 100 milliliters of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid to the styrofoam cup. Then we're going to collect the initial temperature. And we're going to add approximately 2 grams of solid sodium hydroxide. Then we're going to start stirring this. As you can see this, again, it's an exothermic reaction. Then the temperature is rising. So this is our third reaction, and we're going to put 50 milliliters of 1 molar hydrochloric acid into the styrofoam cup. And we're going to measure the initial temperature and record it. Then we're going to add 50 milliliters of 1 molar sodium hydroxide to the cup. And we're going to stir. 